Yeah, this is um, a classroom in another school that I went to observe what is really going on in schools today. And um, in this very classroom, I can find out only three pupils. Now let's move closer to them and they find out from them why other school children are, young, are not yet in the school. Nekedun. Na biaga oko. Na class uno so ni to be gola oko tata. Na class uno so ni to be gola oko tata. Ke me kwa no jiburu so ni to so ni to bu ndi na go na class. Ai. Uno yin ke class be ya from a regular or basic course. From a regular. Uno yin ne. Like one ko no lu na class. Nulu <laughs> Can they win the book around? Really? Really? Can you come see when you are hired to see the bomb in churches? I can't a phone with mom. Even the book around the big bomb, the 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 bomb, Ono wa be kwa no ke yin unu ji be ba ojo nwa na ra tu ni. Atu obo mbe bobo so iga bonko no so ma atu obo. So nne gi wa kwa ni ke bata di ji kwa no bi ba ebe ndi oza bi ro. Ma no unu nu kwa na na atu obo mbo na schools. Here, gi kwa ka mo mi gi ku kwa no mo go the support. Okay, that's the current situation that we find ourselves today in Nigeria education. That uh, instead of government to promote education, instead of um, government to show that they are in charge of lives and properties, securing lives and properties, rather they are putting fear in the minds of people. Today we heard in the Nigerian um, radio news how the repentant Boko Haram are being sent abroad to study and are talking about the bill of um, uh, agency for repentant uh, Boko Haram. It's funny enough and it's sad enough that uh, government has helped in uh, dragging education to dust. They are bringing everything to square zero instead of protecting lives and properties, instead of being in charge of security. Now they are telling the world that every individual in Nigeria is insecure and your own life is in the hands of Boko Haram and the terror governments.